a Pee Wee Picasso by international art critics, our next little big shot started painting before she had barely taken her first steps. Hi, my name is Alita Andre. I live in Melbourne, Australia, and uh, I'm an abstract artist. She's already held her first solo exhibition in New York, with her artwork selling for tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> Say hello to Australia's art prodigy, Alita! Seat. Welcome to the show. Now, mate, you've been painting for a very long while already. Yeah. Because you started when you were how old? Uh, nine months old. When you were nine months old was when your parents said you first started doing it. And by, by two, you were right into it, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, most two-year-olds sort of just eat paint. <laughs> did, you, did you try eating it at the age of two? Uh, it looked yummy, but I, uh, I, I thought, no, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's a wise decision. Yeah. So you had your first art exhibition when you were two. Mm. How did you know you were ready at that point? At two years, like, uh, Mum, Dad, I think I'm ready. <laughs> uh... So when you paint, do you paint with the canvases vertical or do you have them laying down? Uh, lying down. Lying right. down. So it'd make a bit of a mess in the house, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm free to um, paint on the ceiling, paint everywhere. Well, we, we actually got a video of you painting here, so let's see. Hey, oh my goodness, <laughs> do you really? throw the paint around like that. Yes. So you use your hands, it's not very conventional. You, what, what do you use to paint with? It looks like everything. Yeah, I use lots of things and I put glitter on my paintings, dinosaurs. You've got animals at home? Yeah. Or yes. pets? What, what have you got? I've got um, rabbits, guinea pigs, turtles, a budgie, canaries and chickens. I've got um, lots of pets. I love animals. Do your parents live in a tent outside the house? By the time you've got all those animals in the house and all the no, painting, is there room for your parents? <laughs> is, is Mum and Dad here? Because they must be incredibly supportive. <laughs> Have you had to surrender your entire house to art and animals? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. We, yeah, we've just been sort of pushed into the edge of the, the house. And <laughs> I <laughs> beg your pardon. Oh, come on, you know it's true. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, it sounds like I might be telling the truth. Uh, if, if, if you... <laughs> You're very well known in the art community, aren't you? Both here and overseas. I mean, you've displayed in New York, for goodness sake. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to ask, what's the most one of her pieces have gone for? The large, large artwork was sold for 50000 You sold a piece of artwork for $50,000? Yeah. Where's, where, where's the money? <laughs> Now, I believe you've got a art critic... Yes. ..who is one of your best friends, if not your best friend. Yes. And this critic's name is Fluffy. Yes. Do you want to go and get Fluffy? <laughs> Fluffy is a lion. No, I'm kidding. Oh! oh. <laughs> this is Fluffy, so this is yes. your best friend. Yes. So, Fluffy lets you know whether a painting is good or bad. Yeah, um... Uh, when when I paint, uh, if he doesn't like it, he pees on it. <laughs> I brought something here to show you. I uh, do a little bit of painting myself, if I'm honest. Uh, just wanted to find out what you. Don't need to laugh. Just wanted to know what you and Fluffy thought of that. <laughs> you like it? Fluffy thinks. Fluffy, you shouldn't have used language like that. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> it's, I love it personally. It's actually really good. Now, I believe you've got some of your art for us to see. Would you like to see some of her art? Go for a ride. Give us a wave. When she comes back, we'll see some of her art in her own little gallery that she's brought right here for Little Big Shots. Let's hear it for Aelita! <laughs> right, mate. Well, well, firstly, thank you for letting me come into your gallery. This incredible piece of art here, tell us about this. It's a sound painting. Like, you, when you touch it, it makes sound. Wow. 
How does this stuff come to you? My paintings are like the universe and everything has sound, it has a vibration. I thought if I put sound on my artworks, it would make it not only magical, but realistic. Fantastic. Can, can you show us, actually? Yeah. Oh, right, it actually literally makes music. So you're, you're by all the sound we're hearing, you're making that happen yeah. by touching it. So there's obviously sensors in the actual art itself. Keep going, it's amazing. <laughs> I did that horse sound. You did that horse, you mean you recorded it or? No, I did it, I made it. You can make a horse sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that incredible? How'd you have that hanging in your house? So tell us about the kangaroo here. Well, I did this kangaroo um, for Hop for Hope for the Alan and Madeline Foundation to help kids. So does this kangaroo live in the house with you? Yeah. It's been in the backyard for a while. Is that because there's no more room left in the house because the amount of actual pets you've got in the house and all your artwork and paintings? <laughs> and what noise does a kangaroo make? <coughs> oh, your chook's a bit crook, but your horse is fantastic. 